project today is to go to the library and Joshua is going to get his first library card. Are you excited about that, Joshua? <laughs> we love we love reading this time of year. Uh, the wor busy work of the harvest is done and the days are shorter and so when the sun goes down and we turn on our lanterns, we've been sitting around our lanterns and reading stories. And what's your favorite story you're reading right now? The Great Brain. The Great Brain. And, and do you remember something that it's about? It's about a kid that has, that has a good brain. Yeah, and he figures out things, right? Mm -hmm. And he likes to figure out ways around problems, mm -hmm. right? Just like Encyclopedia Brown. Yeah, Encyclopedia Brown. We've, we've read some of those too. So we're going to go to the library and see if we can find more of our favorite books. I like to read because um, it because the, uh, some because the great brain has to solve different mysteries, and I like to hear my mommy read about that and my daddy read about that. I like mystery books because I like to hear pe people solve cases. What, what's one of the best things you like about school? Filling the blanks. <laughs> and doing a crossword puzzle. Mom. Because I think every every time every lesson there's a crossword puzzle. Yeah. Or a, a cross stick puzzle. I've always loved to read. I grew up reading, and when I was my oldest son's age, I loved to sit and read by myself and. I was always a very avid reader and I wanted that for my kids and you know if you're a parent like me you know that reading to your kids is really important because it develops that thirst for knowledge you know when you read a book versus watching a movie your brain is imagining what's going on instead of seeing a picture on a screen you're imagining what's going on in your head and you're imagining the color of someone's hair you're imagining them walking down the sidewalk. Um, you're seeing that in your head and it develops your imagination. And reading books is so wonderful for that. Um, my oldest loves reading mysteries and he's able to understand how the mystery is solved when he hears the answer to it and he's able to look back in the story and once we point out the clues he's able to, to put that together in his mind and I love seeing that and a light bulb goes on oh yeah that's how he figured it out and um, it's great to see that you know that developing and once in a while he can figure it out on his own but he's still at the age where we have to go back and then point out what happened and how the detective figured it out If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really makes creating these videos worthwhile. If you want to make sure to never miss a new video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Now you can get your homesteading questions answered. Visit us at our contact page on anamericanhomestead.com and send us your questions. Maybe we'll pick your question for a future video or article on our website.